So how strong was Sylvester Stallone? Now Stallone has not competed in powerlifting. He's not competitively been in a weightlifting competition. Believe it or not, he's not even a boxer. Oh, what are you talking about? I've had 10 title defenses. If you ever get into weightlifting, at some point someone's going to ask you how much you can bench press. Maybe even how much you can squat or deadlift or maybe even curl. People want to know. It's a way for them to kind of judge their own progress against one of their peers. The competitive part of it's actually fun. Even if you never intend to compete in powerlifting or weightlifting, it's fun to kind of see where your numbers are compared to your friend or the other people in the gym. So I'm actually kind of surprised and a little disappointed that I couldn't find a YouTube video covering this topic. So if you like this kind of topic, uh, make sure to smash that like up button because I'll keep bringing this kind of content to you. So let's talk about and ask the question, how strong was Sylvester Stallone? I'm going to say pretty damn strong. He did just beat that guy arm wrestling who outweighed him by like 100 pounds. Speaking of size, whenever we talk about strength, that's certainly something we have to keep in mind. There are reasons why we have weight classes when it comes to things like powerlifting and Olympic weightlifting competitions. In general, the bigger guy, if properly trained, is usually going to be the stronger. But a lot of it has to do with certain mechanical advantages on how someone is built, the nervous system, and just how someone trains. There's a reason why a bodybuilder who carries around a lot more muscle is not necessarily the strongest guy compared to powerlifters that aren't nearly as muscular. As far as Sylvester Sloan goes, he's what I would consider an average sized guy. He stands about 5'9", and I'd say he's probably been in the 180s for most of his career which is a very achievable size for a lot of guys getting into weightlifting. So I could see why it might be more realistic for a lot of us to compare our lifts against his, as opposed to someone who's seemingly more genetically gifted like Arnold Schwarzenegger or even Dolph Lundgren. This other man has not the size, the endurance, or the genetics to win. It's physically impossible for this little man to win. Sylvester Stallone certainly seems like the competitive type who would push himself, sometimes too far. In fact, in his book Sly Moves, he shares an amusing story about trying to get in a bench press competition with former Mr. Olympian strongman competitor Franco Colombo during preparation for Rocky II. Needless to say, the competition didn't exactly go Stallone's way, and not only did he lose, he actually completely blew out his peg. The massive tear caused him to get 160 stitches and an attachment cable through his shoulder bone. With that said, Stone claims to have been able to bench press between 385 and 400 pounds. Now a lot of you may say wait, you can either bench press 385 or you can bench press 400, and I'm with you, but I'm assuming he put up 385 by himself. It probably didn't go up too bad, though I'm sure he struggled, and he's speculating that maybe he could have probably done up to 15 more pounds, so that's probably how I came up with that number. So by comparison, my best bench press ever, which I consider my bench press one of my better lifts, 365 triple, but I wasn't at this weight. I'm in the 180s right now. This was what, during my whole fat buff phase when I wanted to be a professional bodybuilder. This goes way back. I was actually 245 pounds. I look more like the Michelin man than the professional bodybuilder, but there's one tip to get a big bench press, and basically this is what I had to do. I essentially had to hit the switch and turn my head around like that. What I do is I, I just try to take my hat and I turn it around, and it's like a switch that goes on. And when the switch goes on, I feel like another person. I feel, I don't know, I feel like a... As far as legs go, Sloan claims to have squatted 500 pounds in his prime, which is a pretty crazy amount of weight, but he seems like the kind of guy that could just grind out a rep like that. I guess this would probably be in the Rocky IV and Rambo III time period. In fact, if we look at his quads in Rambo III, he has pretty good size and development as seen in this picture here. What's interesting to note though is that during Rambo III, Franco Colombo said Sloan didn't really like training his legs, especially since he was so busy, so he had shorter, more intense workouts. This is in stark contrast to the amount of volume he did in the 2000s while training for Rocky Balboa, Rambo 4, and The Expendables. For example, here's a leg routine he did Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday mornings. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to read through it. Now everyone has a body part that on average is stronger than the rest, and Sylvester Stallone says his was his back. During the filming of Rambo 3, he said he would do pull downs with 275 pounds of weight at a time when he only weighed 180, that they would literally have to strap him to the bench so he wouldn't snap in two. What's even more impressive though is what he can still do today in his 70s. The L sit he's doing here while pushing his body away from the bar. Very hard move to perform. And look at this. He's doing a pull up with a 100 pound dumbbell strapped to his waist. But what I'm most impressed by is his actual grip hand placement. He's literally grabbing vertical bars. He was strong. Very strong. Speaking of grip strength, he's got very large hands, which certainly helps. 
I was at Planet Hollywood a long time ago, and I remember they had hand imprint of Stallone and Arnold there where I could compare my hand size to theirs. Although Arnold Schwarzenegger is a larger man, standing around 6'2 and well over 220 pounds, Sylvester Stallone would be considered average size, around 5'9. What I found interesting that his hands are huge. By comparison, mine were the same size of Arnold's. So, Stallone certainly has a vice-like grip, but unfortunately not quite strong enough to save his friend's girlfriend's life. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. You're not gonna die. Now, I couldn't really find any information about his deadlift, and maybe it's a lift he's really never gotten into. But since his back and forearms are so strong, you can probably imagine he'd be able to pull quite a bit. Speaking of pulling, Franco said Stallone was curling 70-pound dumbbells when they were training in Rocky II. As far as shoulder pressing goes, there's a photo of him training with Dolph Lundgren here with a 45 and 25 pound plate on each side of the bar. Now the bar is shorter than a standard Olympic bar, so it probably only weighs 25 or 35 pounds. So he's probably repping out with between 165 and 175 here, which is probably what he weighed in this picture. It's hard to say what his max would have been. We could get a good idea of how strong his shoulders are now though, even in his 70s as he posted a photo of himself holding up a one arm 100 pound dumbbell shoulder press. And that's really impressive. The amount of core stability it takes just to stand there and hold it up after pressing. Speaking of core strength, Stallone showcased that in film. I'm sure you all remember the dragonflies he was doing in Rocky IV, for example. Some other impressive feats of strength he's shown in film can even be seen as far back as Rocky I, when he was completely owning those one-arm push-ups and going straight into explosive clap push-ups without any rest. And let's not forget Rocky III, when he literally body-slammed Hulk Hogan. Monster of a man. So those are the lifts guys, 385 to 400 on the bench press, 500 on the squat, 275 on the lap pull down, pull ups with a 100 pound dumbbell, and that's with a vertical grip. He would definitely be able to do more with the standard grip, 70 pound dumbbell curls. Let me know in the comments below if you know of any other impressive lifts Stallone did in the gym, and how some of yours stack up.